Hey, how we doing? Today I'm checking out alt. New alt. From the new world. Very hyped for this one. I think I heard all the singles. I know Remnant was a single. I heard that. I heard Aquila. That's their best song, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Echoes, I thought, was okay. And Orphan Breed, I thought, was really good. I think that's all the singles. I think that's everything I heard. Uh, I really hope that Dissect Yourself is a cover of the, the Car Bomb song. I have heard vague opinions kind of just on the internet, just scrolling today. People in Discord have been talking about it, but they've been keeping it relatively spoiler free with the spoiler tags. And I have not looked at any of the spoiler tags. Obviously, I'm not going to get spoiled. Um, but there was a discussion about the sound of it and kind of like how similar it is to other stuff in the scene because it's it's a buster thing and i think yeah i can understand where people are coming from with the buster fatigue i really like his mixing style so i think it really works but i do think his mixing style is becoming a little bit overdone because it's just like it's good but you can have too much of a good thing um i think long record said that in my discord just like 10 minutes ago at the time of recording this and I do think that it can be a little stale. For me, I haven't reached that point yet where I dislike it because it's too stale or I hear it too much. I still really enjoy it. And there are two things that I look for in music. One, melodies, good melodic harmonic progressions, things like major sevenths, throw some ninths in there, move them down, make them sus twos, make those crunchy chords, make those big tall chords beautiful go from like a one to a four to a one to a four maybe a one to a three maybe a one to a eh, six is a little generic do a one to a four to a three then down to a one something like that i don't know <laughs> but that's the kind of stuff i love and i love like it's really hard to pin down what i love about a melody but if you hear a good melody you know it or well at least i do and the other thing i love is a groove whether it's like a six eight groove or some other compound triple meter groove something like that or just something that goes really really hard i am gonna stop talking now and i'm gonna check this out i'm in the wrong scene just notice that shut up delete your comments I can feel the earth shaking. nice is that the the nuke on the album cover solid intro Okay, no, 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 no. I, this, this, I'm pretty sure I heard the song. Like, I'm pretty sure this is one of the singles I did a video on and everything, but I don't think, I think this is one of those singles that I didn't really like as much on first listen. As a song right out of the intro, no, dude, this hits. This is great. This is a really good example of a song that kind of changes its vibe depending on where it is in the album. If this was like a mid tier, not a mid tier, like a midway point song on the album, I think I wouldn't like it as much. But as a, the first full track on the album coming right out of the intro that little like spooky little intro with the dude this hits yeah no dude this really hits very interesting because you kind of expect in the the generic way of doing this would be to go I've talked about this before but that chord progression is really uh, overrated like a one to a seven to a six and a minor key a lot of bands do it as like an emotional hook like all oh, these are emotional chords it doesn't do anything for me in fact it makes me actively hate the song even more and this if this was a generic band that's what they would do but because they're cool you go from a six down to a five then to the one, then back to the five, then six. Never hit that seven, dude. Never hit that flat seven. That's the most overrated chord ever. 
not sorry, not a flat seven, a seven in a minor key, which is flatted from a major key, whatever. Good chorus. Let's get into my favorite alt song. Not much to say about this one other than it's a banger. Let's go go watch my video on that if you want to see more about that. I'm going to do a cover on this someday. We'll see. I can't wait to play around with this and kind of do like some interpretive melodies with my own version of this. It's going to be so much fun because the gears are turning, man. I'm like, how do I turn this into a piano cover? What can I do for the vocals? What kind of melodies can I add here? Oh, sorry for being a nerd, but man, this music's just too good. This song would not be half as cool without that driving force throughout the whole thing. That's another kind of thing. Sorry, I'm I'm being annoying. Uh, I ranted about that chorus in the video, so go watch my solo video on this if you want to see more of that. But oh my goodness, that chorus! Piano cover coming soon. That's a dealerism. Oh, that's interesting. They're leaning heavily into that. Skyward Sword Cup is back. It didn't go anywhere. I've just been gone, so it's been gone. That one, very harmonically different. Especially because it's like a heavy Thal song, but it's in a major key. And they made sure to hammer that home with the constant little like, It's just an example of how major is not always happy sounding and minor is not always sad sounding. And like you can do stuff that switches it up and changes a lot of the conventions of music. And then you get something like this. This is doing that one to six that I love so much. No, this is good. I'm gonna pause it. I've I've heard this song before, so it's it, it's fine. Like this is a good song. The chorus is really interesting when you have like it's a very catchy chorus, decent chorus. Yeah, not not bad. Like that that heavy part that just hit. Yeah, I've I've heard a heavy section like this a bunch before, but it's not bad. Personally, I don't feel the fatigue. Personally, I really like it. But I really do see how some people might be feeling that. And I do see how it could be off-putting and some people might not like it as much. Like, I think this album is very interesting. And I might forget to talk about this point later, but I think if this album came out three, four years ago, I think this would have been a mind-blowing, uh, no-brainer album of the year. Not in 2021, but, you know, any other year besides that year i think it would have been amazing but i just think right now the market is so saturated with stuff like this that people are just kind of tired of it let's just finish this off and then orphan breed and then four songs i haven't heard that's another thing man people release too many singles like one two three four singles for a 10 song album that's almost half your album that you have as singles or at least i would i would have, i would have done max three singles basically an ep it's like two eps you get your single ep and you get your rest of the album ep ship it take let me know I don't know. Am I crazy? You feel the same? Let me know. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, they do it again. They're gonna do it again, don't they? Yep, and they do it one more time? No. I just remember they did it more times than I was expecting. I have a lot of thoughts about this, and a lot of these thoughts don't pertain necessarily to the album itself, and a lot of the negatives that I have, which aren't even really like big negatives, it's just kind of like observations about the musical industry today, the state of the scene today. 
a lot of that stuff doesn't even really apply specifically to this album. It's just this album is kind of the catalyst where everyone's sort of just realizing these things, and they're talking about it with this album as like I don't know. This is like the scapegoat for all the problems that people have with the oversaturation of the busterization of of the scene today. Really good producer, amazing stuff. I love everything he does. But yeah, I get how how some people say it can sound a little bit samey, and I'm just kind of saying the same point over and over again. So technically, in my argument, I'm doing the same thing. I'm being very samey by giving the same point in different ways. So um, if you think about it, it's actually very poetic that my arguments in this video have mirrored state of the scene today and i'm sure there is some kind of greater observation to be made about that but i am not the person to make it let's keep going i like orphan reed see this has that groove it's got that bounce to it it makes it so interesting oh yeah Is that the moment when he grabs the symbol in the music video? That was so sick, I used that in my thumbnail. <laughs> it's that perpetual kind of ticka 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 that they've gotten a lot of their music that's just so fun. Alright, no, it's not a cover of the Car Bomb song. Oh my god, it's the pew 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 pew! They did it! <laughs> Car Bomb, my friends? <laughs> Never mind, it is. It is a cover of Dissect Yourself. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to pause. I said this in other videos, but there is a big resurgence of Phrygian dominant in the scene these days, and this is yet another example of that. What's the deal with that? I don't even know. I'm not complaining, it's cool, I'm just wondering. We're doing the HLB thing. The vocal effect. Ephemeral. This has to do with another point that I'm gonna bring up later in my overall discussion about this whole album, but this is sick. Big fan of this. Ooh! This goes hard. Oh, this is really good. Nah, dude, this song is great, actually, for real, man. That's the second best song on the album behind Aquila. Wow. Very impressed with that. Dude, that song was very good. It had a lot of identity, which I think Aquila has as well, and that's that's the thing that I'm going to talk about later on. But it had a lot of unique identity that is really like only part of that song. Whereas a lot of the other songs in this album, I feel like if you took a little like few second snippet of it, it'd be hard to tell it apart on a first listen. But if you hear something like Aquila or this after a first listen, and you take like a four or five second clip of it you can tell which song it is immediately super impressed all right let's see how the outro goes Ooh, the little Ooh, good atmosphere for an outro and that's the album be sure to let me know what you think of the album but now i'm going to get into what i think of the album i think it's really good like i said before if this came out a few years back this would be a no-brainer contender for album of the year for me personally doesn't quite hit that i think it's going to be in the top 20 for sure and let me explain why because i know for some people i think it would be album of the year for some people it is some people really really like this for me, it doesn't quite hit that for me, and I think it has to do with what I was kind of saying with uh, Ephemeral, and that's a sense of identity uh, between the songs. My favorite albums this year, specifically my top two that I've talked about a lot that are fighting for top spot, I think I know which one I'm going to give it to. Um, this one, Caligula's Horse, Charcoal Grace, and of course, Night Versus, Every Sound is a Color of the Valley of Night. 
those two, the thing that really draws me in the most about both of those albums, even though Charcoal Grace is like more of a concept album with with motifs and like recurring themes and like musical passages that come back and then like build on each other and develop later, like stuff like that. They both have such a unique identity for the songs sonically in terms of just what the songs sound like. I think that's something that's missing from a lot of music today. And I'm not saying that everybody has to reinvent the wheel and do something completely different every time and like change up their sound and like every song has to sound different. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I like the albums that do that. And my top two albums of this year, which are those two that I mentioned, happen to do that. And I think that even within a genre, you can stay in the confines of that genre and still push the envelope, still do things to progress this music, to take it forward. And I think Alt is really doing that. And I really, really enjoy what they're doing with Thal and Metalcore as genres. And they're kind of adding Thal to the Metalcore song structure. And they're adding in some of those sounds, some of the overall, like the perpetual motion thing, like the da -da 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 -da, like that kind of stuff that persists throughout a song. That's a very Villiard thing to do. And I, I love that in their music. But a lot of the sounds and a lot of the overall harmonic themes, like the, the sounds and the themes that you hear in this album, we've heard before, which isn't always a bad thing either, right? I'm just simply stating facts. I'm not saying that it's a good or bad thing. I'm just stating facts. A lot of it we've heard before. Some of it has some really interesting, unique qualities, though, like Aquila, and then something again like ephemeral with the with that, which is a constant throughout the entire song. It'll, it'll change like it'll be in a high guitar, then a low guitar, then it'll go into like the, uh, the, the piano at the end, dude. And that's why I think ephemeral and Aquila are my top two songs of this album. Orphan Breed, I would say, is probably three. And the rest are still really good, but I feel like they lack a little bit of identity. They still have something that keeps them apart from other songs. Every song on this album has something. Something that makes it stand out from the rest. But some of the some of the songs just do it more and do it better than the others, like Aquila and Ephemeral. Those two especially. And I think I wanted more of that from this album. I wanted more of an individual song uniqueness and again i'm not saying that every band needs to do that but little things like that i think elevate an album for me so 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 much however i really like this album and i'm going to give this a banger i think it's definitely going to be in my top albums of the year video not sure where it's going to place it's going to take a few more listens to decide thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts let me know if you agree with me if you disagree with me let me know if my ramblings made any sort of coherent sense at all, or if I am tired and I should just go to sleep. So, let me know. Thanks for watching the video. See you later. Bye-bye. Peace out. <laughs>